Well, it is often said that a picture is worth a thousand words, and today, that picture belongs to Hybe's headquarters, located in Yongsan, Seoul. This photo was taken by a BTS fan, who compared the lit-up Hybe building to several darkened buildings in the same area. 055, everything surrounding Hybe is asleep. I'm on the way to Han River now. Sounds like it's peaceful and poetic, so the fan shared this moment with friends. However, she had no idea these photos would fire up a heated controversy. Well, bad luck usually comes without expectations, and Hybe is no exception. Right now, everyone is questioning why are all of Hybe's lights on. It can be seen that people are accusing Hybe of grind culture in the workplace as they left the dazzling lights on all night. Many netizens criticized Hybe for violating labor laws and overexploiting their employees by operating late into the night. They claimed that the South Korean government already instituted a maximum 52-hour workweek for all the workers, so if Hybe's employees were truly forced to work at midnight, that would definitely be horrific time management. More seriously, the CEO could be liable for criminal prosecution and get two years in prison for violation of the labor law. Not only that, some possible environmental concerns were also brought up. Hyde is accused of not taking care of the environment as they operate. Netizens pointed out that while South Koreans are pretty strict on saving energy, why Hyde wasn't aware of this serious issue, but leaving all the high powered lights on all night like that. Moreover, BTSV's fans are currently sending out an eco friendly message by donating to build a Taehyun forest along Seoul's Han River but it seems this Hyde incident has ruined everything, making everyone upset. On the other hand, many fans have been trying to defend Hyde, arguing that people are just exaggerating the issues to bring the company and their idols down. Their reason is that maybe Hyde offers flexible hours for their employees, because they work with lots of global stars from different countries, so the time could be different for each department, thus, having such a night shift to keep up with the other side of the world is obviously reasonable. Well, what do you think about this incident? Does it make sense to you? Why did Hybe leave all the lights on at midnight? Leave some comments below and discuss them with us. Before going straight to another main news, let's reduce speed a bit to enjoy the sexiest moments of Lisa in MVSG, the highly anticipated collab between the Blackpink Magne, DJ Snake, Ozuna, and Megan Thee Stallion. The song was just on air today, and is breaking great storms over the internet. Have you checked it out yet? In the MV, Lisa really shined with her sleek moves and her vocal ability, and I can't get the lyrics out of my head ever since I watched it. More interestingly, Lisa even broke her boundaries and took part in the production of this new track. Besides, have you noticed the Photoshop part in which Lisa was on stage with the other three artists? It was so funny and made me laugh so hard. I bet this scene will go viral soon. Well, unfortunately, not every idol has the same glad tidings as Lisa, especially when it comes to Mnet shows with a series of serious fusses. So after Sunmi, who was the judge of Girls Planet 999, received death threats just last week, now, it's Boa who becomes the next victim in Street Woman Fighter. She is being bombarded with hordes of malicious comments over her role as a judge on the show. The incident started right after Lee Young's YGX was defeated by Gobby's La Chica in the semi-final round. Specifically, Boa voted for La Chica to remain on the show and voted off YGX. However, it's her decision that riled up lots of YGX's fans. They got disappointed because YGX always won the big missions, but got low scores during the show. On the contrary, La Chica was always at the bottom, but eventually got into the final round. With these claims, these fans accused Boa of being biased and threw tons of curses at her. You don't deserve to be the judge, we hate you, f you Boa. Oh my god, actually there are still much more toxic comments hitting her, but I cannot show them up here. At the moment, many netizens are calling out these toxic fans for their rude actions. They claimed that everyone is entitled to their own opinion, even their disagreement, but these fans crossed the line when putting Boa down like this. Well, the female judge has always been respected by the contestants of the show, why do these fans dare to look down on her? I understand that some people could disagree with Boa's decision, but still, 
it is so disrespectful of them to call a senior this and that, even threatening her. This is pretty serious and it's nothing else but harassment. Egu, I'm so tired of the KBiz fuss. To be honest, it's just a show. If these dancers' future depends on the show, it would be one thing. But in fact, they have already been professional choreographers in the K-pop world for some time. Thus, a little harshness should not be that harmful. It's unnecessary for some netizens to exaggerate things like that. Well, unlike Sunmi, Boa has not spoken up yet, but I hope she will also make a strong move to handle this incident soon. Keep your eyes on our channel to get further updates in time. That's the news for today. Do like, share and subscribe to KBiz Hub if you don't want to miss the juiciest news next time. Bye-bye.